These problems are about uh, successive discounts. So when something goes on sale for a certain percent off and then there's another discount put on top of that, how do you figure out what the price is going to be? This first problem says, a camera, camera regularly priced at $210 was placed on sale for 10% off. When the camera did not sell, the sale price was reduced 30% for clearance. What was the clearance price? So what you want to do here is uh, do these uh, in two steps. First take the 10% off, figure out what the answer is, then take the 30% off that. So if, if I'm going to take 10% off $210, I want to figure out what is 10% of $200. 10% of, or multiply, 210, that's 0.1, because I moved my decimal place over 2, times 210. So that's going to be $21. So I, if I pay $21 off, I have to take 210 minus 21 to get my answer there of what the cost of the camera is, and that's $189. So that's our first sale price. Now we use that to figure out what the clearance price is. We're going to take 30% off of that. So what's 30% of, or multiply, 189? Well, we'll move our decimal point over so we get 0.3 times 189 and crank that out on the calculator. And you should get $56.70. That's what we're taking off. So we subtract that, 189 minus 56 70, and that comes out to $132.30 for a $210 camera. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Let's look at one more here. This one says a set of tools regularly priced at $260 was placed on sale for 20% off. When the set of tools did not sell, the sale price was reduced 40% for clearance. So let's do this in two steps. First, we take 20% off. So what's 20% of 260, that's 0.2 times 260, and that should be $52. So we take 260 and subtract the $52 from it, and we should get 208. Now, that's the price we use to figure out the second discount. It says it was reduced 40% after that. So 40% of 208, move the decimal place, 0.4 times 208, that is $83.20, so 208 minus 83.20, and that should be $124.80. So those are some problems about successive discounts.